Welcome to another update from the Yukon Liberal Caucus and the work my colleagues and I are doing on behalf of all Yukoners. This week I'll be highlighting the Equality of Spouses Statute Law Amendment Act 2018 receiving royal assent and coming into law, our support for a motion reducing the presence of single-use plastics, Yukon's Information and Privacy Commissioner appearing as a witness in the Legislative Assembly, Premier Sandy Silver's recent meetings in Ottawa, and the Government of Yukon decreasing barriers for accessing medical abortion medication. This week in the Legislative Assembly, Minister Jeannie Dendys brought forward Bill 21 for third reading. It received unanimous support and was assented to by the Commissioner of Yukon. The Equality of Spouses Statute Law Amendment Act 2018 now amends nine Yukon laws to be inclusive of lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, queer, and two-spirited plus Yukoners. This bill is part of our ongoing work to make our laws inclusive of people of all sexual orientations, all gender identities, and all gender expressions. In our ongoing steps towards collaboration, Copper Belt North MLA Ted Adele, Minister of Community Services John Stryker, and Minister of the Environment Pauline Frost all spoke in support of a motion brought forward by the NDP to reduce the presence of single-use plastics in our environment. Our Liberal Caucus supports working with local businesses, consumers, municipal and First Nation governments to reduce the use of single-use plastic food and beverage containers, including straws, utensils and lids, and reduce the distribution of single-use plastic bags. On Tuesday, October 30th, Yukon's Information and Privacy Commissioner, Diane McLeod McKay, appeared as a witness in the Legislative Assembly. She was there to discuss the proposed new Access to Information and Protection of Privacy Act in Bill 24. She answered questions from both government and opposition members. The Department of Highways and Public Works engaged extensively with the Information and Privacy Commissioner while developing the Act, and her input influenced the development of a strong and effective bill. This was also the very first time the Information and Privacy Commissioner has ever appeared as a witness in the Legislative Assembly and reflects our government's sincere commitment to making government more open, transparent and accountable. Outside of the Legislative Assembly, Premier Sandy Silver was in Ottawa on Monday, October 29th, where he met with Catherine McKenna, Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Minister Dominique LeBlanc of Intergovernmental and Northern Affairs and Internal Trade, and Minister of Finance Bill Morneau. We have a strong working relationship with Ottawa, and meetings such as this help elevate important Yukon matters to a national level. And finally, on Wednesday, October 31st, the final day of Women's History Month, Minister Pauline Frost announced that the government of Yukon is now covering the cost of Mifijamizo, the medication used for medical abortions. This prescription medication will be available in the communities of Dawson City, Watson Lake, Haynes Junction, and Whitehorse. Miffy Jamizo has maintained an outstanding safety record throughout the world for 30 years and provides a safe and accessible alternative to surgical abortion. Offering Miffy Jamizo at no cost is one way to ensure that Yukon women can access the best possible care for their sexual and reproductive health. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this update and hear about the work the Yukon Liberal Caucus is doing on behalf of all Yukoners.